Let's take a look at the primary fuel pump for the diesel engine. We can see right here is where the diaphragm broke and this is the reason for the engine to not start. Once the diaphragm breaks, obviously you can't get any pressure out of here. And if you notice, this is a cover and it has two one-way flow valve that allow fuel to flow in one direction. So this will go like this. That end has to seal around there, right? Now, in fixing this as a temporary fix, I have this glove here that we use for cleaning gas tanks and petroleum. We cut a piece out of here, and I made a template that can be placed on top of this diaphragm. So what I want to do here now is I want to apply some adhesive silicone on the back of this and just adhesive it to this diaphragm because if you notice the diaphragm moves with a cam action so it goes up and down back and forth back and forth and that's a pump action for moving the fuel along the line but for this diaphragm to duplicate what this one is doing we have to fix bond this to this surface. So we're gonna use an adhesive silicone for doing that. Then I'm gonna place this cover back in position. And as you can see, to make these screw that you're looking at, these holes, you might say, how did he do that? Well, I simply put the material there and I took the screw and just screw right through it and the screw was able to cut the fabric and fasten itself for all of them. So that is an easy fix. So this is what we're going to use. I just want to apply it in here. Very thin. And then the remain I'm going to place on here. So this has a fabric on it and it's going to be able to bond to the diaphragm. Now we have to place this into the sun. Just somewhere warm, giving it time to dry. And then we can put this cover back on it, install the pump and see if it functions. Now understand this material is resistant to petroleum and oil. So we will not have any swelling or deterioration of the material once the pump is installed.